Hey YouTube, it is I, Sweet Potato Pie, in with my 10 month check-in. Um, just got out the shower, semi-wet, semi-dry, but I needed to make another video because I hadn't made a video in a while and I wanted you to see um, just how far I've come from the beginning to the end. Um, and I want to show you how I do my um, wash and go. If I can stop saying, um, that's just an annoyance for me. But anyway, I am in month 10. I did my Big Chop on December 22nd, 2009. It is now October 23rd, I think, 2010. And, um, I'm right now I'm rocking a black rinse. A uh, healthy look black rinse by I believe it's L'Oreal um, because as you all know I've had my hair dyed blonde and I thought I was well anyway this is the result of about three weeks of washing every two to three days um, it's still pretty black my natural hair color is is ash brown Right now my hair is full of conditioner. Is this thing still on? Okay. Right now my hair is full of conditioner. Um, I went through several bottles of, or several, several brands of conditioner. Um, a lot of organic, expensive, $10 bottles. Even this stuff. Uh, Giovanni Smoothest Silk Deep, Deep Moisture Conditioner which my hair hated. I thought my hair loved it at first, but after a while my hair stayed dry. Um, it's all natural. It's supposed to be good. Everybody swears by it. I paid nine, nine, no I didn't pay nine dollars. I got this from this one for six because it was on sale and I thought I'd try it. Um, what my hair loves is, well the cap fell off, but my hair loves this stuff. Tresemme Naturals um, silicone free conditioning. Uh, nour nourishing Moisture Conditioner. I used to use the other white bottle, Tresemme Conditioner. I forget what it's called, but I think it's a moisturizing conditioner. Right now, this is what's in my hair. Um, I washed, or not, I didn't wash, I co or co washed? No poo? Whatever you call it. I use conditioner to wash my hair with a cheap uh, bottle of, I use, I have a big gallon of hotel uh, conditioner, a, a big box that I keep for when I go out and I travel, I come back with my shampoo and conditioner from when, when I stay at hotels. And I use that to really just scrub my hair and, um, and then I coat my hair with this stuff um, after I detangle and um, after I rinse and this is the result. And I leave it in, and I'm loving the growth that I'm having. Uh, my bangs are nose length. They're not very long. But they're getting there. I'm pretty happy. And the back. I have a few of these. The back's getting pretty long. It's almost... Let's see. That's the back. But you can see how curly it is as a result of just the conditioner. I don't towel dry, I just let it drip dry, which is kind of annoying, but if I towel if you towel dry your hair, it gets really frizzy unless you have a special instrument to dry your or a special towel to dry your hair. So right now, um, I'm going to show you my wash and go because that's what I'm gonna wear today. Um I use Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel and the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. My hair has been really dry lately and this stuff goes a long way. It smells really good, vanilla-ish. I put a little, about that much, in my hands and coat my hair in it. 
like so. Okay. I don't want to manipulate the hair too much. I saw another um, YouTube user use this technique when she puts product in her hair. She keeps her hands flat. And that keeps your fingers out of your hair. So I just kind of squish it and squeeze it through. Which probably results in dry hair. But then I take about three quarter, three quarters size in my palm of Eco Styler and I do the same thing. I go front to back and back to front this way. And then when I run out I can feel it on my hands. Put more in, just a little more. I got a lot of shedding. And then I go left to right. <laughs> Just so I can get the under layers of my hair coated. I know it's a lot of gel, but I like a lot of hold and my hair does not get very crunchy. So, that's pretty much it. Since I got the front with gel, I usually take a good brush. Not my Demon, but... Shoot, I don't have one in here. Yikes! Sorry. <laughs> Clumsy. And I brush my edges back. And um, sometimes, sometimes I'll style with. Um, a hair pin, uh, bobby pins. I'll do a part here, brush it, two pins here, and leave the rest. Today, I think I'm just gonna leave it just like this. Now, every once in a while, I'll get um, a few strays, like in the crown. I'll get a few strays that want to frizz up, and then I just put gel on my fingers and I go over the strays when I see them and it kind of locks them together but that's pretty much my wash and go now I'm gonna shrink about an inch by the time my hair finishes but it's part of being black um, I also found these at Sally Sally Beauty Supply. I got two. And I'm going to use this one for my cheap hotel conditioner and I'm going to label it. And I'm going to use this one for my um, good Tresemme conditioner, which is cheap anyway. But I'm going to use this one for my Tresemme for application. I got this idea from um, Shea Coco Love. Shout out to um, another natural hair, hair group guru. I use that word. <laughs> After all that drama online uh, the last few days, I hope I hope the ladies work it out. Um, I think some of you know who I'm talking about, but um, good luck with that uh, situation. It's it's just really unfortunate, in my opinion, that it had to get to that point. But again, I just use on topic olive oil, uh, eco styler, and shea moisture curl enhancing smoothie for my wash and go. And this is the curl pattern that I have so far. Some of it's like really straight. Some of it's like really super curly. <laughs> I'm hoping I can make it too. December 22nd without like straightening my hair but it's really hard because I want to see how it looks straight because my sides are like here my back's like here so I'd have I think I'd have a mushroom but I'm gonna wait wish me luck um, as far as 
things are going life-wise. I got some good news. I'm going to be graduating in May. Since I switched majors, um, the advisors at the University of Michigan are shit. And I mean that with a capital S. Um, I made several trips to see my advisors and get a breakdown of what I could do to graduate the fastest and no one could give me an answer. Four to five trips. So I went and did the calculations myself and I am now 12 credits from a degree in a Bachelor of Arts in Joint uh, Social Sciences and History with a minor in International Global Studies. So thank you advisors. <laughs> I'm going to be out of here. I think it's a racket. I'm going to be out of here in, in May and um, on to my master's. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that, but wish me luck and um, four more classes. I'm really excited about that and um, not really on Facebook so much anymore, but follow me on Twitter at Blue Cotton Candy, B-L-U-C-O-T-T-O-N-C-A-N-D-I-E. It's a play on my sorority and my first name, Andrea, Blue Cotton Candy. Um, I will see you in, I guess, another month. And, uh, good luck with everything. Bye. Thanks for watching.